Welcome to the U.S. Botanic Garden Production Facility. I'm gardener Stephen Jones, and welcome specifically to the greenhouse where we house our uh, Amorphophallus collection. Amorphophallus is a genus in the family Araceae, and hosts over 200 species from tropical and subtropical Africa, Asia, and Australia. Species in this genus are greatly diverse in size, shape, and color in both the leaves and the inflorescences. They are tuberous plants with a perennial growth habit. Some of you might remember Amorphallus bulbifer with the beautiful peach colored space. Here's the leaf right here makes these interesting nodules that can actually become a new plant after they mature. You can pick them right off, stick them in the ground, and they will grow. Amorphophallus konjac is very commonly used as a edible food. The tuber itself is edible, kind of like a potato. And this plant is hardy all the way up to zone six can be grown in much of the United States. So in this genus, these individual leaves that I'm showing you here can range from the biggest, Amorphallus titanum, all the way to some of the smallest, like this Amorphallus Anxiculi. In today's video, I wanted to show you something that is fun for a lot of growers of, the, of these plants, specifically the world famous corpse flower or Amorphallus titanum, which these bigger leaves belong to. Leaves can get up to 12, 15 feet tall, or even taller than that. It's an individual leaf with a petiole here and the leaflets up at the top. So one, one of the fun parts about growing these plants is having an inflorescence turn up and they can be unpredictable at times and very infrequent and it's very tough to tell initially if the plant is about to bloom or if it's just producing a leaf, which is normally the case. Uh, as you can see in this frame here, there are two plants, both emerging at about the same point. One here on the left is about to bloom. That's an inflorescence. The one over here on the right is a leaf. And I wanted to show you how we can tell the difference at this stage, which is still quite early in terms of the development. This plant here, the bud has been tapered from the very beginning at the base, it tapers inward, whereas the bud, the leaf, typically tapers outward, and that's because the leaf wraps itself around the apex, which is in the center of the tuber, whereas the inflorescence emerges straight out of the apex from the tuber. So this has maintained that inward taper throughout its development, which was the first clue. Also, you, what you can see is overall, this guy kind of widens at the, the center, whereas this guy is just kind of tall and straight, maybe tapering to a, a cone shape at the top. And finally, at this point in the growth, you can start to feel around, in this case, bracts or the inflorescence. This is quite empty up here, only holding the spadix of the inflorescence. Whereas in the leaf, that same area is extremely dense and full of leaflets, which are developing these guys right here. So very dense and, and very different from the other bud. The other difference 
is on this inflorescence toward the base I can feel right here the base of the spathe where it tapers down to the peduncle which is deep inside of here so this area is very dense here and then it tapers down to a, a thinner peduncle on the leaf bud that same area is dense all the way through that's that is the petiole and those leaf sheets as i showed you before all developing you cannot feel any tapering inward at all finally the patterning that we see on the bracts here it's really unique patterning both leaves and the inflorescence will have a unique patterning but on the inflorescence it shows up kind of late in the development it seems this is kind of your your typical pattern into a more characteristic pattern for the individual and on the leaf that pattern would show up earlier this one kind of had a, a deeper purple color to it similar to the one right next to it in fact very purple we have other individuals that are uh, purely white some of them will be green but point being early on you'll see the individual patterns that the leaf sheets or the bracts will have So that's how we knew at this point that we have an inflorescence on the way. Still a long ways to go. It's not until the spadix starts to emerge from the top center that we know a bloom is imminent. Today this guy measured just over 30 inches tall. And like I said, a long way to go. We look forward to sharing it with you on a live stream. You'll be able to see it open. And Amorphallus titanum or the corpse flower is the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world and always interesting to people. It creates an immense stink, uh, you know, almost like a rotting carcass of a dead animal uh, to attract carrion beetles for pollination and a really unique plant and one of the wonders in the plant world. Looking forward to showing you this development and we'll see you soon. Thank you.